Holly Creek, Creek Kids. Kids. Hey everyone, I'm Brianna and this is Josh. Hi kids. And we are so glad that you're with us today. Yeah, we are. How about you all turn to us or someone near you, say hi and get to know each other a little bit by saying which one of these you like better, mm. peanut butter and jelly mm. or a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, I love it. I mean, for me, there is a clear winner, but let's see what you guys think. Okay, right. are you ready kids? Three, two, one, go. Okay, Josh, because I don't want you to be biased, mm -hmm. let's say what we both think at the same time Perfect. on three. I love that. Okay, one, two, three. Grilled, Grilled cheese. cheese! Yes! I knew it, grilled cheese. I mean, don't sleep on sourdough, cheddar, American. You can't go wrong, it's so good. Okay, all right, kids, that was so fun. Let's tune back in. Like we said, we are so glad you're with us today. Yeah, we are. Hope is here, everyone is welcome, and Jesus changes everything. He does. As a matter of fact, let's start our time together by just declaring out loud the good news of Jesus, of who he is and what he has done for us. Yeah, come on everyone, stand up and join us in shouting these out. You can all go ahead and sit back down. Yes, go ahead, find your seat, settle in. Okay, we hope you always remember the truths that God is good, Jesus has forgiven me, I am loved, mm -hmm. and everything is possible. Like we said, they tell us the good news of Jesus, that because God is good, he sent Jesus to forgive us, so now we get to live in relationship with him forever, knowing that we are loved and that with him, everything is possible. That's right, and kids, if you've been with us, you know that the past few weeks, we have been discovering all about the truth that God is good. Yes, we have. In the Bible, Psalm 136, one tells us, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. God is good and we have discovered yeah. so many good things about him. So many good things that that's what we're actually going to spend today talking about. Yes, kids, listen close. This weekend is what we call a response weekend. Instead of discovering another new thing about God, we are going to pause and respond to what we've already discovered. Yes, everybody say pause. Pause. And respond. Respond. Basically, we aren't in any hurry mm -hmm. to move on. We value what God has been speaking to us, so we wanna make sure we give everything we've discovered a chance to sink deep into our hearts before we move on to the next thing. I can't wait to see how God moves as we pause and respond. Me either. So kids, how about we spend the next few minutes giving him our attention as we worship him with songs all about how he is good. Yes, kids, God is the only one who is worthy of our worship. That's right. So let's all stand back up and get ready to worship him as we sing and dance to a couple of songs together, okay? I'm in, let's do it. God, you are so, so good, and I know that you are here and ready to meet with us today. He made the earth and he set it into place. Stormy winds and the ocean waves obey Every creature bows to Jesus' name Let the universe erupt with praise We will shout His name from the mountaintop Everything with breath will praise Bows to Jesus' name Let the universe erupt with praise We will shout His name from the mountain top Everything with breath will praise The Lord of Lords, the Almighty God The only name will say He is good to me He is good to me
King that has breath, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Every tribe and tongue, if there's breath in your lungs, praise Him for what He's done. Let everything that has breath, praise Thank you so much for worshiping with us. You can all go ahead and sit back down. Yes, all right. Well, like we said, today we are pausing and responding to what we've been discovering about the truth that God is good. Josh, what have we discovered about how God is good these past few weeks? First, we discovered that God is a good father. Everyone say, Father. Father! Yes, our Father created us, loves us, has dreams and plans for us because His heart for us is good. We can even see how God is good when we look at Jesus because Jesus came to make the Father known to us. Yes, then we discovered all about the nature of God. Everyone say nature. Nature. That's right. God is so big and so amazing. Yeah. Like he's always been here and always will be here, eternal. He is unchanging, always good. Mm -hmm. And he is perfectly holy, set apart from everything and everyone that exists. Yes, and then last, we discovered some of the names of God. Everyone say names. Names. Yes, God is good and he wants us to know him, so he tells us his name is I Am. Mm -hmm. The one who was, is, and always will be, whose existence doesn't depend on anything else. And the Bible uses other names for God to help us understand more about mm -hmm. who he is. Names like Creator. Yes, so kids, that's what we've been discovering, all about who God is and what he is like that he is good. That's right. There is so much that we have discovered and what better way to help us remember what we've been discovering than with a game. Ooh, that sounds so fun. Kids, are you ready to play a game? Cause it's game time. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to play a video clip from something we've discovered recently. And then we're going to ask a question to see how well you remember it. Even if you've never joined us before today, don't worry, you'll still be able to join in on the fun. Yes, just make sure you pay close attention to each video mm -hmm. so that you can be ready to answer. All right, are you ready? 
I think so. Kids, let's check out our first video clip from when we discovered all about God the Father. Kids, Jesus came to make God known. He walked and talked alongside us, God, in human form, revealing God to us in a whole new way. Yeah, how cool, right? God is our creator and good father. He wants to know us and for us to know him. So he gave us Jesus. Not only did Jesus make a way for us to have a relationship with God now and forever, he also used his life, his words, his actions to show us who God is. Jesus came to make God known. He did. Check this out. In the Bible, John 5, 19 explains it like this. The son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing because whatever the father does, the son also does. Kids, Jesus came to make God known. God loves like we see Jesus love. He cares like Jesus cares and heals like Jesus heals. Jesus shows us that God is compassionate, protector, friend, provider, forgiving, and so much more. That's right. If we wanna know what God is like, we can look at Jesus yeah. because he is the exact representation of God. Are there any questions that you have about who God is? Because if you do, you can just look at the life of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus came to make God known. Okay, kids, were you listening? I hope so, because it's time for our first question. Everybody stand up and get ready to answer. Okay, here it is. Is this statement true or false? Jesus almost always acts like God. What do you think? True or false? Jesus almost always acts like God. If you think it's false, go to this side of the room. If you think it's true, go to this side of the room. That's false over there and true over here. Okay, are you ready to find out? Let's see, the answer is false. Jesus doesn't almost always act like God. Jesus always acts like God. Jesus always does what God does because Jesus is God. You see, Jesus is like a mirror image of God, God in human form. That's why when we look at Jesus and the life he lived, we can discover more about who God is and what God is like. All right, kids, you can go ahead and sit back down. Let's check out our next video clip from when we discovered about the nature of God. Set apart, separate, unique, distinct, different from everything else. That is what it means to be holy. Mm -hmm. And holy is who God is. God is set apart. Mm -hmm. But from what, right? Well, from everything else in all creation. In the Bible, 1 Samuel 2, 2 tells us, there is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Mm -hmm. God is perfectly holy. God is set apart, different from everything that exists because he's God. Yeah. He's the only God and there is no one like him. He is eternal with yeah. no beginning and no end. He knows everything there is to know. Yes, he is unchanging. Right. He's all powerful. He's in charge. God alone is God. Really, we could go on forever and ever and ever talking yeah. about all the things that make God alone God. <laughs> Because God is set apart from everyone and everything else. God is holy. Yes. And not just holy, but perfectly holy. Everyone say perfectly holy. Perfectly holy. So in all that God is, he is perfect. Mm -hmm. Meaning he's always right. He is flawless, mm -hmm. pure, incapable of making a mistake. He cannot be wrong because he is truth. He is completely good. Mm -hmm. And not because anyone taught him how to be good, but because he just is. Mm -hmm. God is perfect, perfectly holy. All right, I hope you were paying close attention because it's time for our next question. Everybody stand up and get ready to answer. Here it is. Can you fill in the blank? In the Bible, 1 Samuel 2, 2 tells us, there is no one blank like the Lord. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. What goes in the blank? If you think it's A, perfect, jump up and down. If you think it's B, wise, spin around. And if you think it's C, holy, run in place. That's A, jump up and down, B, spin around, or C, run in place. Okay, are you ready to find out? Let's see. The answer is C, there is no one holy like the Lord. Yes, God is wise, and yes, God is perfect, but 1 Samuel 2.2 is speaking to God's holiness, how he is set apart, different from everyone and everything else in all of creation. There is no one like him. 
All right, kids, you can all go ahead and sit back down. Let's check out our last video clip from when we discovered about the names of God. So in the Bible, we see that God has many names, many names that tell us more about who he is and what he is like. But the name of God, the name that God says is his, the name he goes by is I am. Or maybe you've heard before that God's name is Yahweh. It's the same thing. Yahweh means I am. Oh, okay, so God's name is I am. Well, mm -hmm. Miss Sarah, I can't say that I've ever heard a name like that. What does that even mean? Well, Jed, kids, when God tells us that his name is I am, he's telling us that he simply is. He is the one who was, is, and always will be. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, for example, God's existence doesn't depend on anyone or anything else. He just is. God is the only self-existent, self-sufficient, eternal, immortal, infinite one who has life in himself. Like every other living thing that exists, plants, animals, people, we all need something to give us life. But God doesn't, right? Because he is I am. He doesn't depend on anyone or anything for anything. Instead, everyone and everything depends on him for everything. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! God is amazing. He has no beginning and no end. He always has been and he always will be. There's no space in all of creation that he does not fill. There's no answer that he doesn't know. There's no place that he can't go. There are no limits on God because he is the all-knowing, all-powerful, never-changing I am. Okay, kids, I hope you're paying close attention because it's time for our final question. Everybody stand up and get ready to answer. Here it is. What does God tell us his name is? What does God tell us his name is? If you think it's A, Yahweh, jump up and down. B, I am, spin around. C, God, run in place. D, both A and B, balance on one foot. Or E, all of the above, clap your hands. That's A, jump up and down, B, spin around, C, run in place, D, balance on one foot, or E, clap your hands. Okay, are you ready to find out? Let's see, the answer is D. God tells us that his name is I Am, also known as Yahweh. Remember, when we call God, God, it really is more of a title, not his personal name. God tells us that his name, the name he wants us to know him by, is I Am. That's so right. All right, well kids, that was a lot of fun. You can all go ahead and sit back down. Thanks for playing everyone. Whether you got the questions right or wrong, I hope it just helped you remember what we discovered about the truth that God is good. Right now, we love to continue our response time by praying and talking with God about what we've discovered. We would. Kids, prayer is simply talking with God. So let's talk with him about what we've discovered today. Let's talk with him about how good he is. Kids, can you all put your hands out like this to show that you are listening to what God is saying to you today? And can you also close your eyes so you can put all of your attention on him and not be distracted by mm -hmm. anything else? Okay, let's pray. God, you are good. Kids, right now, out loud or in your head, can you tell God that he is good? God, you are good. God, you are good. Thank you for showing us who you are and what you are like. That while you are big and vast and amazing and incredible, you are also a good father who wants us to know you. Kids, right now, out loud in, or in your head, can you tell God thank you? God, thank you. Thank you, God, that you are good and that we can always trust that you are good no matter what. It's just who you are. Would you help us to believe the truth in everything we've discovered about you and hold it in our hearts? Kids, right now, out loud or in your head, can you ask God to help you? God, can you help me? God, can you help us remember and trust that you are good? Okay, now, just like we can talk with God, He talks with us, and He has been saying so many things to us about who He is, that He is our good Father who loves us, that He is eternal and unchanging, that He is perfectly holy, that He is I Am and Creator. 
So how about we spend just the next 45 seconds sitting and listening to God? We are just going to continue sitting here quietly listening to God, and I'll tell you when the time is up, okay? So kids, if God was talking to you, what do you think it would sound like? What would he say to you about everything we've discovered? What would he say to you about the truth that God is good? God, you are our good Father, and in Jesus, we can hear your voice. Thank you for your goodness. Amen. Kids, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Yes, open your eyes, because now we are going to continue our response time in our circles. Circles are where we talk with each other about what we are discovering, so you can become like Jesus together. Yes, so let's continue to talk about what we are discovering about the truth that God is good. We have a few questions for you to talk about and something you can pray together, okay? It's going to be great. Well, kids, before we go, we are so glad you joined us today. Yes, I am so glad we got to pause and respond to what we've been discovering about how God is good. We can't wait to see you next time. Until then, go always remembering the four truths that, and say these with us if you know them, God, God is good. Good. Jesus, Jesus has, has forgiven, forgiven me. me. I, I am loved and everything, everything is possible. possible. Bye. Bye.